We have some breaking news in the MLB world as finally we have one of our last notable free agents to sign. It's going to be Nate Eovaldi going to the Texas Rangers. We don't know the final terms yet, but we do know Nate Eovaldi and Texas Rangers have agreed to a deal. It's pending the physical now, and this is a very interesting move for the Rangers. It's a good move because Nate Eovaldi maybe was the top free agent left. A guy like Nate Eovaldi and Gene Segura, you can argue between those guys, but he's going to be a solid pitcher to come into the back end of the rotation with the Texas Rangers. This is a Rangers team that has been very busy on the busy on the market. Obviously, they got Jacob DeGrom. He was the big fish that they got this year, including all the moves they made last season. And then they also have Andrew Heaney. They're going to have Nate Eovaldi right now. They have some other guys like Martin Perez, John Gray, who are recent signings, and they're in their rotation as well. And they have some prospects, Kumar Rocker and Jack Leiter, that they're hoping to bridge the future to within the next couple years. So let me know what you guys think. I think Nate Eovaldi is a very solid signing especially when he could be a four to five starter for your team. Last year, he had a 3.87 ERA and 109 p innings pitched. He struck out 103 with a 1.2 whip. One good thing about Eovaldi is he's going to not walk anyone. He was paid with the Red Sox because of his performance in the World Series. So if you talk about a team that's trying to make the playoffs, Nate Eovaldi is a guy that has experience pitching in big games. The concern with him in the past few years is maybe his velo has dropped a tick or two since that 2018 World Series. But his average fastball is still 96 miles per hour. He's got a good repertoire. His split finger, his second most used pitch, and the curveball slider and cutter as well. So I definitely think this is a solid signing by the Texas Rangers. It's going to be another pitcher to get on this team. And this is going to be very interesting because they are spending so much. Nate Eovaldi, Jacob deGrom, Andrew Heaney, to name a few this offseason. And obviously Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager, John Gray last offseason. But at the same time, it's just hard to see how they're going to be able to make the playoffs with teams like the Mariners and Astros in their own division. Nonetheless, though, they are turning into a very good team, and these teams could go on runs and surprise people. Let me know what you guys think. Nate Eovaldi is another piece added to the Rangers rotation. It looks like they've been executing their plan.